In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Hover X1 self-flying camera. My aim by the end of this video is to see if it'll actually give me a better perspective from the point of view of my mountain biking and maybe give you a better idea if you're looking to buy one. Let's check it out. I won't be going into technical details or specifications as there are so many videos on the internet regarding this subject. What I will do, however, is share my thoughts and my experiences with using this amazing little device in the mountain biking that I'm doing in the UK. Enjoy. Right, got the little Hover X1 out to uh, try and get a little bit more aspect on what we're uh, doing today. Um, it's in dolly track mode at the moment, so it's kind of in front of me and hopefully getting a decent view behind, um, rather than of my behind, haha. <laughs> and still doing well, pretty well. A little bit of a breeze up here, but it's pretty damn good. So, this fire road does go on for a long time, I ain't gonna lie. It's uh, a bit of a grueler, but it's actually not that steep. So, getting up to the top where the mass are, which I can see just over there, it's not far away now, maybe, I don't know, a mile, um, half a mile to a mile maybe. It's, uh, it's a fairly gentle, um, unoffensive climb, to be honest. Worth it with the views though. Oh wow, where we started down there. Oh, I love Wales, I love it so much. Get to this corner and then uh, grab the drone and carry on. See if it uh, responds to my command. Oh, it does. Look at that. Well done, little dude. Fantastic. Current mode. Bird eye. Oh. 
orbit. Oh no! This should do dolly track in front of me. So let's see if it will. Yeah, that's pretty, going pretty well. So with this dolly track, I can actually steer it a little bit, and it'll try and stay right in front of me. So if I go to the left, it should then follow me to the left. If I go to the right, it should follow me to the right. And if I speed up, it'll speed up. If I slow down. It'll then slow down and come back to me. Very clever this thing. I'm going to go to the right here. Hopefully it will follow me back over, which it's doing very well. Let's carry on. So <laughs> I've pretty much got my own personal camera, AI camera person. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an impressive little gadget is this. The downside is the battery life. It doesn't do long battery life. Long time is gonna be 10 minutes. Um, short time, maybe slightly less, depending on how much you're using it. So um, it's a great device for getting plenty of B-roll kind of footage. And well, stuff like this really. when I want it to come back to me I put my hands in a cross section 
above my head, the green light comes on for the landing, put my hand underneath, <laughs> and it lands. That is so cool. Let's turn it off. Job done. Okay, so it's ready to uh, get going. I'm just going to uh, hold on to this with my mouth, my, uh, my GoPro. Close. Follow. And there we go. So it's controlled with um, the camera on the front, which has got a little gimbal on it. And underneath, It has some nice little sensors. When I go down, it goes down. When I go up, it goes up. It's very, very intuitive and very intelligent. So let's just see if it uh, follows me down this trail. I think it's doing pretty well so far. I'm not going to too quick because it really doesn't keep up that well with higher speed. Just like that. Let's just see when it's actually here. I think it went a little bit high. It then hit the tree and went down. Let's see if there's any, uh, any damage. Uh, no real damage. So this cage, it's kind of a bit pliable, so it can take a little bit of shock, a little bit of resistance, and it works very well. Right, let's carry on. Close. Follow. Okay, there's the red light, so it's captured me. It's now filming. Off we go. Let's get up to the top of the hill here. This bit's going to be perfect for it because it really will keep up right, real well. When I uh, want to get it back, let's just take this off. All I've got to then do is put my hand underneath, it goes green, and it lands neatly on my hand. How cool is that? Okay, we're going for a bird eye this time. There we go. Going up. Go up to 50 feet I'm in a really sheltered place as well so hopefully that will be uh, unaffected by any wind it does tend to um, it does tend to handle sort of a gentle breeze pretty blooming well actually quite impressed back it down it should then land neat and tidily in my hand again. Ooh, nice breeze. Oh, wonderful. There we go. <laughs> so cool. For me, this drone works really well. It grabs quality footage from lots of different perspectives to give a different aspect on what I'm doing, a better view, a better experience for the viewer to see where I am and the environment I'm riding in. You can actually buy this directly from Amazon so it's super easy to get a hold of. The link's in the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, share and comment. As you're in a clicking mood, why not click on this video about my Garmin 530 and how I upload courses from my iPhone to the unit and click here for a great mountain day that we spent on Cadar Idris using the Garmin 530.